So this here is an interesting sensor. When I bend both knuckles equally, the graph value doesn't change much. But if I bend one and not the other, and the other and not the one, you see the graph pan between a lower and a higher voltage. So how come? So the point of interest lies between my two fingers. This yellow crocodile clip goes to an analog input of a Flora microcontroller. And the red goes to plus and the green to minus. And between the, say the minus the ground line here and the yellow line, um, there's a resistive sensor that is changing its resistance, becoming more conductive when I stretch the yarn or pressure it or squeeze it so that the fibers in the yarn, the steel fibers, make better contact and conduct electricity better. You can also do that by pressing on it. But the effect is much more extreme when it's bent and stretched more extremely. So um, on the middle finger, the connection goes between the analog pin and ground. So when that one is um, bent, the conductivity between ground and the analog pin is higher. So more electricity will flow and the graph shows a lower voltage because it's being pulled down to ground. When I bend the finger where the sensor goes between positive and analog, that connection becomes more conductive, pulling the reading up to a higher voltage. So this is basically a potential divider, and the potential, so the voltage is being divided between these two resistors. If these resistors change their resistance at the same time, by the same amount, we see there is no change, because potential is divided equally between two resistors of equal value. If I change one resistor and not the other, the potential is being now divided unequally and we see the graph show that change. Same in the other direction. So I find this interesting, even though I don't really know why. fun. It makes these kind of particular shaped mountains in the graph when I walk with my fingers. I walk like a moonwalk.